So I'm very excited about today's guest. Please welcome AFI Best Actress Award winner, Neighbours alumni, former ballerina, Bachelor of Art holder, thespian, mother of two, philanthropist, painter, Lotel Groupie, FHM's Top 100 Sexiest Women, voice artist, winner of Australian Survivor Champions vs. Contenders 2019, and every red-blooded Australian's crush in the 2000s, the smiling assassin, Pia Miranda. Hi, Dave. How are you, dear? That makes me sound so much cooler than I. Am. That makes me sound so much cooler than I actually am. Like you know me, I'm not that cool, but I'll take it. I don't know. I think you're pretty cool. Hi, how are you? I'm oh, great. You're all right yourself. Hey, officially, even though mm. I've done it behind the scenes, congratulations, God. Oh, oh God, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. And it takes away all that guilt of um, you know, the whole blind side. <laughs> yeah, washes but me I'm clean. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. It was a joy to watch. I'm so thrilled. And how good is winning? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I was so happy for you because, like, it's so good seeing him. I've never had a mate win anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, if it's someone else I didn't know, I'd be happy for them. But to have, like, a good friend win, it was really exciting. Isn't that It cool? was really exciting. Yeah. I was, I was nervous, too. Like, when you were out there. You know, just knowing like, oh, he hasn't texted, he hasn't called, I haven't heard anything. Like, <laughs> as it got closer to the end, I'm like, and then I started going, what the hell? Why haven't I blindsided him? Like, he's such a good player. What are they, <laughs> they didn't have you on All Stars, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you, but I would I'd take you out for sure. It would have been a battle. <laughs> oh, definitely not. It would have been a huge battle. <laughs> but it's funny that you say about yeah. watching your friend because I felt like watching – your season, we got so close out there. That's how I felt about you winning too. Yeah. Even though I was a part of that experience, oh. I was so jazzed. I was like so happy you're winning. Even at that final tribal, I'm just like, yes, it's going to happen. I saw that moment. Your smile when I won was so good. Oh. Even though like you went out, we were so tight, you and I, like so tight. Yeah, it was the best. Good times. Um, yeah. I want to wind it back just yeah. a little bit uh, to mm -hmm. your first experience with Survivor and how you get invited on. Um Onto the show. So that kind of comes about because you mention it, right, on a, in an interview. <clears throat> yeah, you know that TV blog, TV Tonight? Mm -hmm. So I had um, – I was doing press for Mustangs actually and it was like one of those Q&As where you write down, you know, what shows are you watching, what are you binging, mm. what's the number one show you'd love to be on? And I kind of like wrote something quite highbrow because it's one of those oh, like, yeah, TV blogs. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and then I was like, you know what? Like, it was like when, I think it was like on the New Year's Eve or something. I was like, nah, I'm just going to write actually what I have always said. And I just started writing. I think I was right in the middle of that, you know, um, that Mike White season. Yeah. Um, of Survivor. Yes. <clears throat> and so I just wrote, you know what? Of all the shows on TV, I've always wanted to be on Survivor. And you're not a big fan of camping either, are you? And now, like, I'd never been camping. <laughs> like, I'd never been camping in my life. <laughs> I'd never been camping. Has that changed, actually? Has this given you, like, an affinity for the camping? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I don't get – well, I mean, you, you had it harder than me because you did two seasons and you had all that spider stuff going on. But um, I think, like, as it got on, I really just appreciated that whole idea of sleeping under the stars, mm. you know, like just that sleeping under the stars, having no phones. I mean, you know, we how long do we spend out there? Like two weeks. You get really tight with people in that short amount of time because there's nothing else to do. Um, so yeah, it's definitely given me that little, you know, kind of vibe. Uh, have there been Have there been any camping trips since? No, like they have <laughs> not. But I keep saying, <laughs> I keep saying it, but I still kind of go bed, yeah. dirt, bed, dirt. But you know, yeah. I'd have to. I, I I do I do think I don't want my kids to grow up like me, like never <laughs> having had camped before. Yeah, just in case they end up on the